Father, we bless you this morning. We are so, so, so grateful unto you, our Lord and our God. Thank you for bringing us to the altar of your word this morning again. On this Lord's Day, we are asking you, God, that you strengthen us from your holy altar in heaven. You anoint us as our high priest. You pour your oil upon us. Consecrate us, strengthen us, give us, O oh God, the strength to continue, never tired. The energy to live holy and righteous life, give us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we continue this teaching, Lord, give us understanding. Help us to be ready for your coming. That we will not miss out, we will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is part three of our teaching, Understanding the Rapture, the Day of the Lord and the Second Coming of Jesus, that is the Kingdom Age. Amen. We had a good time last week, but... In the, in the teaching section and also in the supposed question and answer section, which was supposed to be the night section, because every Sunday night there is a section where you are supposed to come with your question 7 to 9 p.m. Nigerian time. So if you don't have that uh, link, you can send a WhatsApp chat to the number on the screen and then we'll send the link so that you can ask your questions. Amen. And we began that night with a question. And we were able to look at it carefully. So the question that we addressed was, when you read the book of Revelation, amen, you read the Bible, you, you will see that God has a program for the Jew. I mean, for the people of Israel in the time of the, you know, in the seven years of tribulation. Amen. Revelation 7 tells us how we say, do not do any harm until we put a, a mark on the servant of our God. But we saw a post there that God has no plan. Amen. For the church, all through the time of tribulation, God has no plan for them. Amen. And we said, this is not like God. He has a plan for the people of Israel, but no plan for his church. Do you know why he doesn't have any plan for his church? During that seven years, because his church is not here. The bride has gone. So there is no plan for the church. There is no mention of God having any special plan for the church. Because his bride has gone. He has come to take them. And they have gone to be with him. But the people of Israel, the nation Israel will be here. Amen. And God has a special plan for them. 144 evangelists are going to be recruited from the from 12 tribes of Israel who will preach the gospel, who will disseminate what is called the everlasting gospel. Revelation chapter 14. Though how will they preach? They'll preach what? The everlasting gospel. Revelation chapter 14. They'll preach it to the ends of the earth. They will, they will, God will recruit them specially anointed. The Antichrist cannot do them any harm. Specially anointed and ordained. They will move around the street of the nations and preach the gospel 
with the radicality. And by the, by the virtue of their ministry, we will see that there is a lot of people that will come to believe in Jesus. They will come to what? Believe Jesus. They will come to accept Jesus. People from various nations and from the people of Israel, from nations of the earth. And we call them the tribulation saints. What do we call them? The tribulation saints. They will face the Antichrist. They will face the rage of the dragon. And they are going to be massacred. Amen. They are going to be all massacred. Amen. Many of them will be killed, brutally killed. But they will not give any damn because they are ready to suffer it. You know, the good thing about tribulation is that you know when it's going to end. There is a, there is a time frame for, this, for, for tribulation. There is what? There is a time frame. The time limit has been placed. It's seven years. Three and a half for the devil and three and a half for what? For the lamb. So the people endure. One of the errors that uh, we saw in history that fell post tribulation rapture is the teaching that, uh, uh, that uh, when you preach pre-tribulation, uh, pre people will not prepare for suffering. That is not true. That is a lie. Amen. And I said it when we began this thing that post tribulation rapture has fell a lot of apostasy. Many persons were told that what they are suffering is tribulation, like the Chinese and the church in Asia. Many of them are the long run, huh? but they will look at Israel and say that it has a time frame. And you tell them that what they are passing with tribulation. Amen. Year one passed, year two, year three. They were enduring knowing that it's time bound. And when the time elapses, they were still suffering. And many of them say, no, you cheated us, you duped us. Amen. Jesus told them in Matthew chapter 24, from verse 1 to 14, he said, he said, these things, yeah, they say, yeah, the end has not come. The church from inception has been suffering persecution and has been suffering different kinds of trials. How did the disciples, the apostles die? They died in the most gruesome way. They were happily dying because they know that they are going to be, they are going to be with the Lord. They are going to sleep in the Lord to, be, to wake up when the trumpet of rapture sounds. You need to listen to my message tied to the, the vision of rapture. Very powerful message. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to bring the book out, part of the book. But I've not brought out because of forms. It made a book that will bless lives. Very powerful message. The vision of rapture. Hallelujah. Amen. So post-tribulation or mid-tribulation rapture have fed apostasy. Because post-tribulation has a time frame. And we also see, amen, that in Matthew 24, when you read from verse uh, 36 to 51, Jesus told us that nobody knows the time. For the Son of Man shall come like a thief in the night. Nobody knows the time. He said, two shall be walking, one shall be taken, one shall be left. Suddenly. Hallelujah. So we now said, if it's, if, if it's about Jesus second coming, then there would have been no need of that sudden disappearance. Amen. How will you tell that nobody knows the time? The day nor the hour. I don't know the day or not the hour. And then from the time of the of the, of the Antichrist, when the Antichrist, the man of the lawless one appears, it is seven years time frame. So why do you now why do you not say nobody knows the time? Are you understand what I'm saying here? Yes. The Bible says nobody knows the day nor the hour, Abby. But now we are made to understand that from the time of of the appearance of the lawless one till the second coming of Jesus Christ, it is seven years. So if it is that event that the Bible is talking about, then why would the Bible say nobody knows the time? Let's go to the scriptures also. So you see that the Bible is talking about something that's different. Matthew 24 from verse 36. It's talking about something different, completely different. Are you there with me? Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. Can you read fastly, 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 please? Who is reading? Come closer. If you are reading, come closer and read for us fast. However, mm -hmm. no one knows the day or how when these things will happen. Not even the angels in heaven or the sun. Nobody knows what? 
The day or her. The day, nor the hour. Only the Father knows. Only the Father knows. Amen. Nobody knows what? The day, the day nor the hour. Come now, I didn't ask you to stop there. Read further. When the Son of Man returns, it will be like it was in Noah's day. Hmm. In those days, before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and, wedding re and weddings, right up to the time Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. So now, if it is the second coming of Jesus that the Bible is talking about in this, in this scenario, then can he be justified? Amen. Because before the second coming of Jesus Christ, there will be what is called, what is it called? There will be a series of events. The judgment of God, this bo the seven boy judgment will be poured upon the face of the earth. Abby? There will be punishment. There, there will be the wrath of the Lamb. Great time. The Bible call it great tribulation. Is it at the time of great tribulation that people will be eating and be drinking? No. That they will, eh? that they will give him marriage? No. When the whole edge of that judgment? It cannot be that time. So this coming here has to be in another time. It cannot, this, this coming here cannot be in the same time when this thing, when the sun is darkened, the moon is darkened, when the, the wrath of God is being poured upon the face of the earth, when even the, the Bible says, even the saints will be hiding their cell. Let's go to the chapter 6. If they will go to the mountain, oh mountain, fall upon us and hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. When people be wrong, is that that time they meet and drinking? I don't know what I'm saying. We are looking at this morning as the proof of pre tribulation rapture. The proof of pre tribulation rapture. The proof of pre tribulation rapture. So we are looking at this morning. Wonder. Is it when the, the rot of the lamb? Somebody has opened Revelation chapter 6. Let's see what the Bible says. Revelation 6, where it's talking about the rot of the lamb. I think from verse, from verse 15 or 17 or 19, where it's talked about when the people shall be hiding in caves, hiding everywhere. Verse 15. 15, eh? Uh -huh. Then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, mm -hmm. the wealthy, the powerful, and every slave and free person. Mm -hmm. All hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. Now wait, is it this time that they hid themselves in the caves and rock of the mountain that they will be eating and drinking? Yeah. And I'm asking us a question. Is it this time? No. no. When the, the kings of the earth, the generals and what? The slaves and what? And the mighty will be hiding themselves in, in caves and where? And among the rocks of the mountain. And among the rocks of the mountain, eh? And they cry to the mountains and the rocks, uh -huh. Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the rot of the lamb. Mm. For the great day of their rot has come, and who is able to survive? Now, is it this time that they will be eating and drinking like this of Noah? No. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is it this time? Go back to where you are. Verse 24. Yeah. In verse 36. So something is differently happening here. Uh -huh. Two men will be walking together in the field. No, start okay. earlier. However, no one knows the day or how when these things will happen. Not even the angels in heaven, not the son himself, only mm -hmm. the father knows. Mm -hmm. When the son of man returns, it will be like it was in Noah's day. Mm -hmm. In those days, before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets. Now, when the son of man, what? Come. He's talking about when Jesus Christ returns. Yeah. Now, and before his return, there are events... There are what? There are events that precede his return. And this event has been going on for how many years? For close to seven years. And the Bible call it the tribulation and great tribulation. Amen? Amen. Which will culminate, which will, will all be, be, be climax in his return. So where is the space for the kings of the earth to rejoice? And to gallivant and to marry. Amen. So that means so this thing that is talking about here has to happen before the seven years. Uh -huh, read on. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and wedding rites up to the time the one entered his boat. Uh -huh. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. Mm -hmm. 
two men will be working together in the field, one will be taking the other left. Mm -hmm. Two women will be grinding floor at the mean, one will be taking the other left. Mm -hmm. So you two must keep watch, for you don't know what day your Lord is coming. Understand this. If a homeowner knew exactly when a burglar You was don't coming, know the day. Yeah. But we know. When you look at the 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 the, the, the of Christ, every eye shall it's not going to be a sudden event. Amen. As it were, people will people will be expecting because the people had been in what under seven years of what of great tribulation of tribulation and great tribulation. Amen. So people know that there is a time frame when the lawless one appears. People now know that come. This is going to take seven years. So a lot of people will endure it and be ready to die because they know that this is for a short while. Amen. Yeah. And the Bible says, even the devil knows that his time is what? He's short. Continue. So, understand. No, let's, stop this. let's go to Luke chapter 21. Luke 21. Let's read from verse 34. Luke 21 from verse 34. Giving us a picture. Of what the rapture is all about. So watch and pray. We are supposed to even read that place 45. We will look to Luke chapter 21 from verse 34. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Don't let your heart be dulled by carousing and drunkenness. Mm -hmm. And by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you on our way. Now, let, don't be what? The worries of the, It's not talking about what now. It's not talking about the great tribulation here now. Yeah. You stay watch out. Don't let your because people are then the time of tribulation. Is it worry of life that will be because be I mean, where people are drawn away from trouble that have come upon the face of the earth? This is what this is a pre-tribulation warning. These are events that what that precedes the tribulation. Amen. These are events that have to do before the flood. The flood of God's anger is coming, but there shall be what? An escape before the flood of God's anger is come upon the face of the earth. There's going to be an escape. Uh -huh. Read on. Don't let that day catch you on a wheel like a trap, mm -hmm. for that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Mm -hmm. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. You might be able to what? Escape. To escape the coming, this coming horrors. And there stand. is a com this coming horror. And stand before the Son and of Man. And stand before who? The Son of. The man. escape is to stand where. You are escaping to stand before who? The, the son, son of man, not before. And that's why the Bible says, let's go to what the Bible says. Now, this, your, your this, is it plural or singular? Um, to plural. escape? Plural. Yes. T-H-E-S-E. -E. Yes. Now, if you go to King James, let's go to King James, 35 King James. To escape all these things, all these things. What are the things? The rage of the dragon and the wrath of the lamb. Uh -huh. 36. Watch it therefore and pray mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. To escape how many things? All. Oh, how many of them are you going to escape? All. Oh. To what? Escape this is Jesus' teaching. So there is going to be escape for people who are watching and praying. There is a possibility of what? Of escape. If you watch, if you watch your life and pray, if you are careful, you could escape. You will es you can escape. There is an escape. For many, how many things? All. Oh, what are these things? The rage of the dragon, the terror of the dragon. And the judgment, the, the seven trumpet judgment, and what? And seven bow judgment. There is what? There is escape. You can escape this judgment. Amen. You can escape the what? Amen. The seven bow judgment of God. It can be escaped. So who teach the who teach the rapture? Who's the one that started it? Jesus started it. So we are talking about you escaping all these things. That is what we are talking about. When we talk about pre-tribulation, what are you talking about? We are talking about you doing what? Escaping how many? 
all these things. So I am going, I am watching and praying so that I can escape. I don't know if you don't escape, go through it now. But I'm going to escape. What he's talking about here is not a persecution that is, is that Matthew 24, 1 to 14 says, oh, hey, that is not talking about you. He told them you are going to be persecuted for the sake of my name. I mean, it's different from this one. This one is God's judgment that begins. Who was the one that God used to judge? To judge? To uh, to, to judge? Uh, 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 I mean, uh, I mean, uh, to try? Uh, who do I call it? A uh, job? Was not the devil? Who was the one that came to tempt Jesus? Was not the devil? The devil is a tool in the hand of God. Let go to Revelation chapter three, verse ten. Revelation three ten. And see what the Bible says. There. Revelation three ten. Revelation 3 10 fast. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere. Uh -huh. I will protect because you have obeyed my command to watch and pray. You were watching, you persevered. Jesus is the one talking through the apostle, apostle John here. Because you have obeyed my command. To what? Yeah. To what? To what? To persevere. You refuse to compromise. You stood in holiness despite the, the challenges. You refused to be Babylonized. You refused to eat the delicacies of mystery Babylon so you can become wealthy and powerful. You refused. You, you separated yourself from this Babylon world. You refused to live as though you were in the world. You refused to be a friend of the world. You rejected the lust of the eye. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life. You lived your life as destitute because of my sake. You carried your cross. Amen. You faced through sufferings and trials of life because, because of me. You were buffeted. You were suffered. You were persecuted. You were rejected because of me. You endured suffering as a soldier of Christ. You endured this suffering. You endured all the persecution, rejection, the hatred, all that they, they have to, you have to go through. You stood for me because you have what? Read again, eh? Read again for best for chapter. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere, uh -huh. I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. There is a time of testing. Yeah, King James call it trial. No, King James is temptation. Is it King James temptation? Yes, NIV is trial. How? No, look, look, King James for me. The Father has kept the words of my patience. Mm -hmm. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, mm -hmm. which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. There is going to be an hour of temptation. Mm -hmm. And it's going to last for seven years because the day in the, in the eyes of the Lord is like, it's, it was like a thousand years. But God, he promised I will keep you from it. Amen. I will I'll keep you from it. I watched the debate by a, tri a pre tribulation rapture preacher and uh, a post tribulation rapture preacher. And a post tribulation rapture says eh, that this scripture, Revelation 3.10, is, uh, is talking about the church in Philadelphia. And I pity his ignorance. Because the same Bible, the same revelation, the Bible says, what I say to one, I say to all. I say to all. Amen. The seventh church of Asia Minor, God used it to speak, to, to reveal a message to his church, to the global church. We have applied it to the global church. So whatever is written in Revelation chapter 1, 2, 3 is not written to the church in Asia Manu. It is written to the, Lord, to the church of God. Those were letters written to the church. But it came through the word. Through a look, it was received by word. Let's go back to Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1. It was received by the local church, but it was for what? It was for the whole body of Christ. There's an hour of temptation, an hour of trial. And I, and I, and I be used word. An hour of what? A trial that shall come up. There is going to be a temptation, a time of testing that shall come upon the whole world. But the Lord said, those of you who have kept the word of my patience, 
I will keep you from that time. From it. That means you will not go through it. And Jesus told us, Luke, Luke uh, 20, uh, 20, 21, verse 13. He said, uh, what? He said, and told that you will escape all these things. All these things I am bound to escape. If you don't want to escape, then you or you for you. Continue. Prepare to face the tribulation and the great tribulation. But me, I'm preparing to escape. Is there any quarrel there? Eh? If you don't want Jesus to keep you away from that time, oh yeah, go through it now. Now your business. Are you there? Revelation chapter 1, chapter 1. Read from verse 1 for me. Revelation chapter 1 from verse 1. Fast. Fast through the lawyer. This is a revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servant the events that must soon take place. Mm -hmm. He sent an angel to present this revelation to his servant John. The thing written an event that must soon take place. But it begins by, by what? By picturing it to what? To seven churches in Asia Minor as what? As a test script for what he wants to do to the whole world. He says the hour of the that come upon which world? The whole oh. world. The Roman equation didn't reach Africa. There's everything that happened before. It didn't reach the whole of the world. The Babylonian Inquisition, the Roman Inquisition, obviously did not reach the whole of the world. But there is a one that will reach the whole of the world. It is called the world. The, the world, the rot of the dragon will reach everywhere. He, mm -hmm. he sent an angel to present this revelation to his servant John, mm -hmm. who faithfully reported everything he saw. Mm -hmm. This is his report of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church, mm -hmm. and he blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says. I read from verse 3. Verse 3. God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church. And to who? The one who No, did he say to the church of Asia Minor? No. The word of the prophecy to who? Who reads the who word? Who reads it to the what? To the church. Yeah. And you are reading to you today. No. And he blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says. For the time is near. Mm -hmm. This letter is from John to the seven churches in the province of Asia. Grace and peace to you from the one who is who is who always was and who is to, and who is still to come mm -hmm. from the sevenfold spirit before his throne mm -hmm. and from Jesus Christ. He is the faithful witness to these things, the first to rise from the dead and the ruler of all the things of the all the kings of the world. All glory to him who loved us and has freed us from our sins by shedding his blood for us. He has made us a kingdom of priests for God his Father. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Look, he comes with the clouds of heaven, and everyone will see him, even those who pierced him, and all the nations of the world will mourn for him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord God. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still to come, the Almighty One. I, John, am your brother and your partner in suffering and in God's kingdom, and in the patient endurance to Let's Jesus talk about our time. Amen. When you read through, you see a place where the Bible says the what I say to one, I say to all. Have you seen that in the scripture there? You search, you see. What I say to one, I say to all. I say to all. So this letter was written primarily to the what? To the seven churches of Asia Minor. But tell me, the thing written there, were, were they all for Asia Minor church alone? To the revelation to the body of Christ globally. So why are we now reading the, the epistle of Paul to the, to the Ephesians? To the collectors, I'm applying to ourselves. Would have said so the efficiency alone. Now. Hallelujah. So I have made up my mind to, to agree with Jesus to take me through, to take me out of the hour of trial that is coming upon the face of the earth. But I don't know of you. Amen. So we see in the book of Revelation, Jesus telling them, let him that have an ear, hear what the Spirit of God said to who? To the churches, including the Nigerian church, including the African American. That is, he said, well, let him that has an ear, hear what the Spirit of God says to who? To the churches. So we are part of those churches. 
So Revelation 3.10 is not to the church in, a, in, a, in Philadelphia alone. It is speaking to us today. So if you are not part of the church, then you can exempt yourself. But I'm part of the church. So he's speaking to me. And he has told me clearly that you keep me from the hour of temptation that come upon the face of the whole earth. And I'm laboring for that to escape. So I'm able to escape these things. So we are still looking at rapture before tribulation proof. That is what we are looking at. We have looked at some scriptures. Amen. And we said the believers are not meant to suffer the rot. Amen. The rot of all. <laughs> the rot. Are not meant to suffer the rot. Both of the Antichrist and of the Lamb. Hallelujah. So we have seen first Nica chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. We have seen that before. Amen. The Bible says that the Lord he said for we are not verse 9. So we are not appointed to rot. Remember, you can see that, please. First Nica chapter 5, verse 9. So we are not appointed to rot, but to obtain salvation. We are not appointed to rot, but to obtain salvation. So the rapture is when Jesus comes to save his saints from the rod to come. In the same first Nica chapter 1, verse 10. Are we there? You can read anyone you have seen. First Nica 1, 10, and then 5, 9. You see, and to wait for a son who cometh from who could deliver who, to, who comes from heaven, who delivered from the rod to come. There's a rod to come. After the tribulation, there is there's a rod to come again now. So it cannot apply to the tribulation. Because after the seven years, when Jesus is coming at the end of the seven years, coming to come and fight, coming with the armies of heaven, which is who's constitute the church, then which rot again is coming to the revival? If the rot is over at the expiration of everything, come from Armageddon. So which rot is coming to the revival again? Amen. Bible says, Are you there? First Nica chapter 1, verse 10. Who is reading for us? First reader, come closer. Uh -huh. And they speak of how you are looking forward to the coming of God's Son from heaven, Jesus, mm -hmm. whom God raised from the dead. He is the one who has rescued us from the terrors of the coming judgment. Mm -hmm. 5.9 For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ, not to pour out his anger on us. God has what? Chose to save us through our Lord Jesus to Christ. To save us through what? Our Lord Jesus Christ. And not to do what? Not to pour out his anger on us. God is not meant to pour his anger on us. So the anger of God should not be poured upon us. So what for? We are not appointed to rot, but to salvation. Let me see uh, 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 1 verse 10 from King James. 1 10 from King James. Come closer here. And to wait for his son from heaven. Whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath of wrath to come. Yeah, but to wait for his son, Jesus. We are waiting for him. Amen. Who delivers us from what? There is a wrath to come, but we have been delivered from it already. So we are not going to pass through it. So when the time before the wrath starts, Jesus will come and take us away. And it's the same thing Revelation 3.10 says. And we saw Jesus talking about the same thing. Luke chapter 21, verse 36, says the same thing. Talking about escape from the rot to come. So the rapture is that escape. The escape route is the rapture. Hallelujah. Matthew 25 says the same thing. 25 says the same thing. Luke 17, 20 to 27 talks about the same thing. You can find that Luke 17. 20 to 27, to 27, 37 is also the same thing like what Matthew 24 says, 36 to 41 to 51. Matthew 25 tells us about the groom coming for the bride. Amen. The truth about the rapture. Number one, the truth about the rapture. 
Number one. The truth about the rapture. Truth number one. At the rapture, Jesus Christ come for his bride. He's come for his bride. Matthew 25 and John 14 verse 1 to 6. John 14, 1 to 6 tells about how Jesus comes for his bride. John 14, Jesus is there, taught John 14. Say in the world you have tribulation. He said, boy, me. Amen. He said, he say, in the world you have tribulation. He said, believe in the Father, believe in this, believe in me also. Let your heart not be troubled. For my father's house, there are many mansions there. See, if they are not so, I would have, I would have told you. Could you pray a place for you? And when I do so, what happened to you, me? I will come to what? To receive you. So that where I am, there you'll be. So now, the post tribulation rapturalist proponent says that Jesus, he just, somebody was explaining that he just like a, somebody coming to an airport. You know, are you, this, look at me very well. Somebody coming to an airport. Now, when the person comes to an airport, the people come to receive him from the airports and now come back with him. Now that is what that is how, how that both the rapture and the second coming of Jesus Christ are going to happen at the same time. That is like the rapture, uh, somebody land in an airport, bam, and the people go to receive their guests and return back with their guests into the into, into the city. But that is not the picture the Bible. The Bible never put that kind of picture. Jesus, I'm going to pray a place for you. I mean. When I'm going to pay a place for you, I will what? I will, I will come to receive you. I will come to receive you to myself. That is what King James used. And I will receive you to myself. So that where I am, there you be. So at the rapture, Jesus come to receive his bride to the wedding hall. And the wedding hall is in heaven. And that is why the Bible says that what? The Bible says that what? He say, it says to what? To escape. That is um, uh, uh, where we read. Luke chapter 21, verse 20, 13, say, and to escape and to what? To stand before whom? Our escaping is to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. To be taken to where? To the mansions that he has built for us. As a matter of fact, Matthew 25 tells us that the bridegroom come to take the, 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 the groom into where? Into the wedding home. Revelation 19, 7, let's Revelation 19, 7, tells us two things are spoken in Revelation 19, 7. Two different events. 19, 7, let's go there. And then 7, you read from 7 to 11. Let's see the two events. The rapture. Somebody was asked the question, eh, that there's no way where the Bible talk about the rapture and then the word and the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's a lie. There is. The rapture is about the word. It's about the wedding of the Lamb. Eh? Revelation 19. Let us be glad. Loud, loud, loud. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made himself ready. And the marriage of the Lamb is come. The rapture is what? It's about the what? The marriage of the Lamb. That is the rapture. Uh -huh. And to her was granted that she would be, she would be arrayed. arrayed. Amen. And white. Mm -hmm. For the fine lining is the righteousness of saints. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, Right blessed are the right. What are right, blessed. right. Right. Good on. Right. Uh -huh. Blessed are they uh -huh. which are called unto the marriage supper. Of now the Lamb. he said, Blessed are they who are called. Remember, the Bible says at the middle of the night, when they call, Abby. Lo, and, and the word, the bride do me here. So, some people will be called to it, some will not be called to it. Are you hearing the, the point now, man? Blessed are those who are called to it. Luke 20, uh, 21 says that word. He says that word. And then uh, look at 17, and then Matthew 24, he says, One shall be taken, one shall what? One shall be left, one shall be called, the other one shall not be called. Amen. It's not everybody that will be called to the wedding. Say, so blessed are those who are what? Who are called. Many are called, but few are chosen. Uh -huh. Read on. And he said unto me, uh -huh. These are the true sayings of God. Mm -hmm. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, 
See, thou do it. Thou do it now. Thou do it now. There is a place. So, much and thou they who are ready went with him to the marriage. Which verse is that? From what you are reading, you say, and those who are ready went into the marriage. Which passage are you reading? Um, is that King James? Yes. You, you read from verse 8. I said she should start from verse 7. Why did you start from verse 9? No, she read from verse 7. Okay, read. Where did you say, and, and they who are ready went to Timothy the marriage? You check your Bible fast. He said, and they who. He said unto me, right, uh, uh, blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. Uh-huh. And he said unto them, these are the true saints of God. No, there is a place talking about those who are ready. Read all over from the six. Read all over from the six again. Oh yeah, fast to read. You should be able to be checking your Bible. Don't be reading off. Be reading and be meditating. Oh yeah, fast read that there. Read King James for fast. Read from the six now. Fast. And I had as if it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as voice of mighty thunder. Thundering, saying, Hallelujah for the Lord God who made the rains. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and, and His wife has made herself. I've made herself ready. Which verse 7? I mean, yes. I expected that word ready. I didn't hear it from Rapture. She said it. She said it. And I'm asking you now, you didn't say it. You heard her say it. Why did you know that it's there? And her what? And her what? What did he say? Who is there? Is ready there? And his bride has I'm here. I'm, I'm asking this question. Who did he say? Herself. What did he all say? What did James say? What did he all say? Wonder. And his bride has prepared herself. So the bride of Christ must what? Must prepare herself. So the rapture is what? Is the wedding call. And the bride must prepare herself. It's not a prepared bride that we hear the call. First Nica chapter chapter 4, verse from verse from verse 13. You didn't finish it. Go to read down to verse, verse 9. Go to verse 9 and read, go to verse 11. Verse 11 of Revelation 19. First. And I say, uh-huh. heaven open, I see. And I saw, and not see. Heaven no. open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon it was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doeth just he doth judge and make war. Mm-hmm. Continue fast. His eyes were the flame of fire, uh-huh. and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. But he himself, and he saw and he was clothed with a vesture clipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Fourteen. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with ease. Amen, praise the Lord. The armies which were in heaven, what they did what? They followed, they followed him. Now, where did the army follow him from? from I'm asking, where did the army follow him from? Heaven. From heaven. Where was the church raptured to? Heaven. To heaven. And who are we? We are the church of Christ. Amen. So the rapture has to be to where? They have to be raptured to heaven. For what? For the marriage supper of the Lamb. And where are they going to follow him from? Is it from the airport? No. No, no, no. That is what one of the posts they said is like an airport. Is it from the airport? Is it from one corner of Jerusalem? Or is it from the sky? Bible said they, they didn't follow him from the sky. Where did the army follow him from? Is it from the sky? Where did the army follow him from? From heaven. The army is following him from heaven. From heaven. And it is when he land with the army that he will go and they, they will be the nations, the believers will be gathered to him from all the nations of the earth. They will gather them. The, the, the tribulation sense. All that are left who have not collected the mark of the Antichrist to be gathered to him. 
Say you should go to the four corners of the earth and gather to him. They will be gathered to him. The believers will be gathered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the Lord will help us to understand scriptures. Not to follow what men teach, but follow what the Bible teaches. And I pray that the Lord will help us greatly with more understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have said it time and over again that it is not all Christians that will make the rapture. I think we said this time and over again. And we have also looked at the calamity of the left behind saint. We are not going to go back today. We have looked at the calamity of the left behind saint already. So from next teaching, we will enter the second coming of Jesus. We will be dealing with that. If the Lord permits us. Amen. Amen. Let's look at Matthew 13, verse 24. I wrote that here. I believe strongly that we have looked deeply into the rapture, the case of the rapture, conclusively. Matthew 13, 24. I mean Mark 13, 24, sorry. The sun will be darkened, the moon will give no light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And everyone will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds with great power and glory. And he will send out his angels to gather his chosen ones from all over the world, from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. What will he do? He will send out his angels. No, read again. What will he do? He will send, send out, out his angels. Now, read. Come on, come on, come on, come on over again. Eh? Matthew, read all over again. At Mark, that Mark. time, mm -hmm. after the anguish of those days, the sun will be darkened. After the word, the anguish of those days. Uh -huh. The sun will be darkened, the moon will give no light, mm -hmm. the stars will fall from the sky, mm -hmm. and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Mm -hmm. And everyone will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds with great power and glory. Mm -hmm. And he will send out his angels to gather his chosen What is he going to do? He will send out who? His angel to what? Gather his chosen ones from all his over the world. His chosen ones are still all over the world. There are chosen ones, those who believed in him in the time of tribulation, because there are witnesses. You remember the two witnesses also? So who says, Enoch can Elijah? I mean, Elijah, me, I don't know. But I know the Bible talks about two witnesses. Amen. Amen. And the Bible talks about the, the 144 evangelists from the Jewish tribe. So there are people from all over the world. That word, even the Jews who are scattered over the world, the Israelites were scattered. Go to God, call them God's chosen one. He sent who to where? At his coming, he sent the angel to what? God has chosen ones from all over the world, from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. Uh -huh, continue. Now, learn a lesson from the fig tree when its branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout. You know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things taking place, you can know that his return is very near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will not pass from the scene before all these things take place. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. Amen. However, no one knows the day or how when these things will happen. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son himself, only the Father knows. Mm. And since you don't know when that time will come, be on guard, stay alert. Mm. Be on what? Be on guard. Guard, do what? Stay, stay alert. alert. What verse is that? Be on guard, Mark 13, 30. Be alert, on alert, stay what? On guard. 33, Matthew, Mark chapter 13, 33. Let's be on alert and let's stay on what? Let's stay on guard. May the Lord help us to escape in the name of Jesus. To escape, to be alert, to be on guard so that we can escape before, follow the escape route. Before these things begin, Amen. Because Matthew chapter, Luke uh, chapter, twenty one verse thirty six tells us about escaping before these things. May the Lord grant us the grace. May we prepare. If you are going to escape, we must be ready. We must prepare to escape. 
and the escape is what? Is the marriage supper of the Lamb, the rapture. Amen. Amen. And her bride, the time of the supper, uh, marriage supper have come, and her bride had made herself ready. The Bible says, Matthew chapter 25, say, and those who were ready went with him into the marriage supper. May we have the grace to go with him. We will be ready that we can go with him in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless us rich in Jesus' name. Amen. So in the evening session, we'll be taking question and answer. So you can join us in the evening section. If you don't have the link, chat us on WhatsApp on the number on the screen. We'll send the link. You can ask your questions. And then we'll trust the Lord to be able to respond to the questions. And the Lord bless you. The essence of this message is to make you to stay on guard. To be our, to be ready. To be alert, not to slumber like the like the five foolish virgin. You will not slumber in Jesus' name. You will be alert and on guard, and you escape in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I remain your brother Moses or George and God Special, the coordinator of Rapture Special Discipleship Ministry and National Rapture Program. God bless you. If you are blessed, do you welcome evangelist with this message? Like it, comment, drop your questions. Share it to all your platforms and let others know the truth. And the truth shall make us free. In the name of Jesus, God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, conclude